It isn't often we get a product announcement that I immediately think is a game changer for the industry, for the world. But today's announcement of ChatGPT Health, I think is honestly a game changer. And it's not necessarily that ChatGPT is going to win the healthcare market, but this is the kind of thing that I, I think is going to really disrupt healthcare as we know it today. Healthcare has always been sort of a gated world owned by doctors, pharmacies, and insurance companies. If you want to have your own data about your health, that's extremely difficult to get. You've got to go get it from a doctor's office. Even the information, the x-rays that a dentist has, you don't just freely have access to that. But the world is changing. Artificial intelligence is changing the way that we look at healthcare, the way that we interact with health, the data that we're collecting. I'm wearing a Garmin watch right now. I'm constantly collecting data about my health, my heart rate. I have a scale that will record my weight. What happens to that information? Today, nothing really happens to that information. But now, something like ChatGPT Health could take that to the next level. So I want to go through exactly what they announced today and how I'm investing based on the theory that this is going to be a catalyst for future disruption in healthcare. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. If you want more from me, check out my newsletter, Asymmetric Investing. There's a link on the screen and a link in the show notes. That's where you're going to get more of my research and my asymmetric investing portfolio beaten the market by a wide margin since that began. I'm investing in stocks once a month. Very simple way to invest. The other way to follow me just on autopilot is literally on autopilot. This is a phenomenal platform that started with the Pelosi tracker, but now you can follow asymmetric investing without lifting a finger. This mirrors the asymmetric portfolio and it will pass through straight to your brokerage account. There's a link below if you want to check out autopilot. Just a phenomenal tool. I think that's really going to disrupt the way we think about investing in the future. Let's go through ChatGPT Health and what we know about this so far. They did an intro video that sort of gave some examples. And it really came down to how do we answer simple questions about our health on a day-to-day -day basis? And the way that they're looking at this today is you're going to be able to connect things like Apple Health, Function, My Fitness Pal, and use that information, that data to actually help your health with ChatGPT. If you've tried asking ChatGPT or Gemini questions about health, it's actually a pretty good tool. And now this is, I think, going to take this to the next level because it does bring some of the health privacy into the picture. What it is not doing is they are explicitly stating it is not going to replace medical care. It's not going to be used for diagnosis or treatment. So there you get to think about how you could, you could potentially use ChatGPT on a day-to-day -day basis to address your health. Maybe you're looking for ways to eat a little bit healthier. Maybe you're looking for workout plans. Those are things that they actually called out in the video that I showed above. Those are natural ways to use something like a large language model. But you want to take that to the next level. Now you're going to have to connect to, to a platform that can actually prescribe you something. That's where an investment that I have, like Hims and Hers, I think takes that to the next level. They made some big investments in 2025 that were related to artificial intelligence. We haven't seen a lot of those tools yet, but they do have things like nutrition plans. I got my labs done in 2025. So so a platform like Hims and Hers is built to be a little bit more in-depth from a medical perspective. So just something to keep in mind as we go through exactly what you're going to be able to do on ChatGPT and not. What they say is that this is going to be for navigating everyday questions and understanding patterns. As you would hope, health is going to live in its own space in ChatGPT. So that data, the connections are going to be stored separately from other chats. That in theory should keep it private the way that you would expect all healthcare data to be. But this is also one of the first models that's being post-trained with the help of physicians. This is something we've been hearing about for a while, is that physicians have been, able, been offered money to help train artificial intelligence models. Well, obviously, one of those companies that was working on that is OpenAI. 260 physicians who practice in 60 countries and dozens of specialties to understand what makes an answer to health questions helpful or potentially harmful. This physician-led approach is built directly into the model that powers ChatGPT Health using clinical standards called Health Bench, an, a an assessment framework that OpenAI created with the input of those practicing physicians. Now, here's where I think things get interesting because this is where artificial intelligence could be really valuable compared to a traditional doctor's visit. You go into a traditional doctor, they're gonna ask you a bunch of questions. In fact, you're gonna probably fill out a short survey before you even go into the doctor's office. That's gonna guide them on what sort of next questions they're gonna ask. But now artificial intelligence can have the entire corpus of healthcare information in its memory and bring that to the individual context. That's what's ultimately going to be the big differentiator. You're now going to be able to bring in wearables data, wellness apps, all of your medical history, all of that is going to be able to pull, be pulled. And instead of a doctor trying to understand it in a minute or two, this is going to be able to be understood by artificial intelligence with a world of information that a single doctor just simply cannot understand. So I think this is going to change how we think about healthcare. And that's the kind of disruption that I want to invest in in asymmetric investing. Now, is OpenAI going to be the winner in this space? 
I don't necessarily think that's going to be the case, especially if they can't get to the point where they're actually going to be making prescriptions for you. So there are two investments that I have made that I think will benefit from these kind of developments. One I mentioned earlier is Hims and Hers. They are a company that can prescribe products. They're adding more modalities. They're moving into longevity. Health and wellness is really a big piece of their future. I mentioned before, I got my labs done. Now they're going to be able to pull in lab information. They're going to be able to prescribe products if that's what's necessary. And by the way, like I said, there is that nutrition tool within Hims and Hers. Maybe it doesn't get the same usage as you might from getting a recipe on ChatGPT, but that's something that could be surfaced by Hims and Hers in the future, become much more of a day-to-day -day health and wellness app. The other one is I have called Garmin the human data feed. And this is really, I think, going to be the differentiator for Garmin. They are pulling all kinds of information about your health, about your activity, about your heart rate. And there's more of that coming with future products. They're adding more connectivity. And these are more popular products today than even the Apple Watch. And I think this is the best way. And I think this is the best way to play that data loop that's going to be needed for artificial intelligence, where now we become much more proactive about our health. So this is a space to keep an eye on. Not a ton of direct investments because OpenAI is not public, but I think this is the kind of area where traditional healthcare companies are going to be very much disrupted in the same way that internet companies dis disrupted publishers that seem like they had a monopoly on their local publishing markets. That's the kind of monopoly that we've seen in healthcare really forever. And it's really solidified over the past 10 or 20 years. When you look at all the money that's being made by doctors, by pharmacies, and by insurance companies, that's the real opportunity. This is disruption waiting to happen. Hims and hers, Garmin, two of the ways that I'm playing that, but definitely an area that I'm going to be following more on asymmetric investing. But ChatGPT Health, one of those products that really caught my eye immediately. So healthcare, definitely an area I'm looking at more in 2026. But let me know what you think. Leave those comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.